Hi, it's me, Pam Vinny. Hope you're having a great day. Beautiful weather here, a little cool breeze. I uh, was sitting outside. I thought I gotta enjoy the sunshine while I can here in Michigan. So I enjoyed that. And I thought I'd do um, a little bit more. Let me go down a little bit with this Summer's Bounty Journal that I'm working on. And this is part three, just showing you the uh, how I'm uh, doing, putting this together. Uh, it's a one signature. So part three. And I had shown some of the things that I thought I would uh, put in the journal or I would just clip some things. So this is the next step. So I took this card that I had and I um, had this paper also and I just I'm going to maybe tuck something in here you know like you could add something like that and then I have inked I think most everything then I added that little piece and I may go back with this color in these little squares uh, this little design just to bring some of those colors out and then I had a different fabric here and then I decided to use this really pretty Daisy Kingdom fabric and I uh, stitched it on an index card so that can go there a few things here and then I'm going to show you what I have glued so I added this journal belongs to with a little flower here and then this little die cut that's from uh, the die cuts that I've said um, in the journals are I use the Summer's Bounty, the Junk Journal Studio. So I added the little watering can with flowers. Um, all I did here was add the label and I made this a tuck. So this is the part where I'm gluing and inking. And then I think we did this together. And I had made this fabric, strawberry tag. I inked this and added that. And on this um, envelope, yeah, I added this butterfly large like postage type stamp and then this little label here i had this i inked it and then i added this cute little digital to the top and that tucks in there here i added this label and the little recipe card and then i had done this on the last video with the cheese cloth and then I added the flower there and then here next I will uh, do the little fabric flips the next thing I'll do is hot gluing or um, fabric flips and ruffles then I decided to add these tickets to the side and with this little a farmer's love letter and this little label in the paper bag um, and then this was that game piece that I cut out and I th thought it looked really cute here plus I cut around it and there's the cherry pie some cherry paper then I added that label to this little chicken card here I added this label and then this was a die cut the fussy cut of the berries and there's some berries here and I I could not think of this it's Henry Terry is the illustrator Henry T-E-R-R-Y Terry and this was like from a little day day book that I had bought a while back now they're really expensive um added this here that was cute glued it and then here I fussy cut that and I have this cute little watermelon card 
I know I want to do something different here. But I'll figure that out. Um, added this little strawberry here. And there's the fabric, so I'll do that next. Added, fussy cut the little strawberry shortcake out. Then here in the middle of the signature, I inked. Then I added this little library card, a little strawberry card, and then I kept that open so you could tuck things in there. And then I added that little strawberry to close the post-it note here. Then I added the little, glued the mason jar, and this I inked, and it's a little card, doesn't have anything in it yet. Pretty with the strawberries. So I just thought I'd show you my process. Hopefully it's not too boring, but there are new people who might want to know, well, how do you go about you know what's the order or you know and everyone can be different this is just how i'm doing this one um use these little die cuts here these flowers uh i think that's a cherry blossom or apple blossom and then there's some pretty little plants here um and then i added this note card with the cute ladies gathering flowers and this little herb card And then I decided to bring some of the yellow in here, and then I made this a tuck, and then this little label, and some really pretty cards. Pocket, I fussy cut the mushrooms, and then if you have something um, sticking out, I like to, even though this is a card stock that I fussy cut, um, I like to strengthen the top, so I'll add another layer uh, of thicker cardstock so that it will not bend. And this is pretty with the flowers and the butterflies. And I love this little note card with butterflies. And this is the Digi. As is this beautiful card. And then on here, what I did was I took the large flash card. I added this and made it into a tuck. I cut this down. So that would fit in here. So that's what I decided to do with that. Added the blueberries here. Kind of bring in the blueberries here. That was a fussy cut from the digitals. Um, and the old design shop, I got the library card. And what I did is I just added a strawberry here, added that little strawberry in the label. And there's strawberries on this page. Used a label here, a little cherry pie. It's cherries here, cherry pie here. And then this was um, a cut apart from the Bull Bunny Kiss the Cook collection. That was cute with the cherry pie. And I added this tag. Guess check that I might do further things too. I'm not sure. And then this was from the um, Bow Bunny Kiss the Cook. Oh, it has little cherries on there. Cute apron. And this little cherry. paper bag, bag and I'm thinking about adding maybe some I don't know fabric or lace or something not sure uh, this little card with vegetables and then the apple blossom or apple uh, vintage card from 1980 the apple tree Going that back. I uh, use this label as a tuck, put this little ticket in there, added um, these apples as the tuck, and then this was that handmade written card. 
caramel apples. Still haven't found what I wanted for here yet. Um, added this little label. Oh, I'm going to do something with this because it has this green polka dot and this green little watering can. So I'm gonna, I know I want to put that somewhere because it really brings that in. Um, but I hadn't gotten to that point yet. And then this is a cute little card with the apples. Aren't they so cute? A little bushel of apples. And then there's a Bible verse, Psalm 136. One. Well, good thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. I've got cute little apples there. And then in here, homemade apple pie. So that goes behind there. And then also that keeps it from falling out. And I added the seed card, a little card in there. There's the cherry fabric. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I could just add that. There's like a flip. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll do the fabrics and the ruffles and, you know, laces and trims will be my next um, video. Here's a little cherry pie. I have added a little ticket here. Little label, English cherries, that label. And then this little banner. Bring in some of the greens. A few things in there. Let's see here, I don't need that. Um, a little watermelon and a little watermelon tag in there. And then I'll also do stamping and uh, stenciling or in another step. Got some little berries here. Added that little butterfly postage stamp, a digital. Then uh, from this quilt with the vegetables and things, the pieced vegetables, I cut out part of the pattern to make that. So I can make it a pattern, and then I also cut out the um, little, you know, piece, how they did that for the lettuce. And then I have these little grocery house and lettuce. Um, let's see. And then here, I love this bird page. I love birds. Then I added this label. Uh, Fussy cut the bird from the digital kit. And then I made it so that this little tally card could fit in there. And then a few little cards. I may, may add lace or something else to this. The bird book page. Pretty dyed scrapbook paper and then this clips on then here is the back um added this little with a little faux letter with a little sunflower fussy cut that out added that sunflower there because there's some flowers here and then inside here cute little tags We have garden notes and a fresh apple and orange bread recipe card. And then a few things added in here. So that is what I have so far. And then, like I said, next I will do some. Uh, uh, maybe I'll stop and do that now. I'll do the like little fabric things, like. What do I have? This. So I'll take this and make a flip from this. Okay, I did ruffle up some of this fabric. I'm probably going to tear this and um, ravel it like over on this side. I added some cheesecloth. I didn't know I was going to do this, but I think I'm going to add it here. Um, I'll probably cut this, but and I'm thinking 
That'll fit too. I hadn't planned on it, but I'm thinking. I was thinking about putting it on the edge of something, but I kind of like that as on the spine. So I think I'm going to glue that down. And I also made a charm dangle too that will have to go someplace here too. So I might think about that first too. Okay, I did um, glue this little ruffle down. I just had this fabric, that strip, I was going to put it in another, like on an etch in here, but um, then I thought that would be kind of cute on the spine and added um, some of this cheesecloth. And I just pleated it just a tiny bit. And then when you bring it over, it has this ruffle, but I'm going to, I believe, just you know, bring the pleat, glue it, I mean, not all the way, but partly. So I think I will kind of have it a little bit pleated like this. Pleated here. A little bit like that. That's turning out so cute. You just never know, right? Usually all this works out, right? Then this one. Cute. Let's put this down a little bit more here. Okay, that's really cute. And then a little bit sticks up here, and then I'll just do the same on this side with the pleating. I think I need to work this way. Like so. I think it's cute. I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to look like a little you know, summer's bounty type, a little bit rustic. So that's what we got. I don't usually do the cover toward the end, but that's a little bit of a start. Okay, then. Okay, so I did this. I uh, have a little flip here. That's this kind of muslin, and then it has this stitch running through it, and it has a layer of this yellow. Then it has the little cute apple print. And this, I like some of these little strings coming down. Okay, did I do another one? Oh, yeah, I just did this one with the strawberry picking time, with the strawberry fabric. And then I added this little strawberry piece at the top. And then, what do I have else that's fabric? Okay, I gotta figure out something here. I mean, I could do some kind of a, a ruffle or something. Let me think about that. Okay, I just ruffled off that uh, fabric. Isn't that pretty? 
and oh that might weigh it down a little bit i'm thinking here and then it could uh you know show on the other side let's put a little file folder there so the glue doesn't get on anything else i did it kind of walkly i like that look Do that. Yeah, and then you have some of the kind of colors that go in with the watermelon. And then I found uh, here's the um, I showed how I made this uh, little. This is going to be the tassel. So then I will have to figure out, oh, that's going to be cute, isn't it? How I'm going to attach this. I mean, would you, if you could pin it on, I could do a hole through there. Yeah, that's going to be really fun. So I like how it, you know, it starts to come together or maybe you could put it on somehow here you know we'll see but so i got that let's see what else i can do as far as you know ruffles and fabrics and things okay just open this and uh this is kind of plain and then I have this laying around. I think I just want to do something maybe not quite that thick. Just bring some yellow in and sew it. Then I think I want to just add it right there. Okay, this is ruffled up, a little red thread. Oh, do I want to cover that up totally? Or do I want to go like, no, I think I need to go this way. And then I'll probably add some type of a <clears throat> flower if I have one. Um, you know, when I look at stickers or that type of thing. That just gives it a little something extra. Still thinking about bringing in a color here. Maybe coloring in these little um, diamond shapes. So that gives it a little something extra. And I have um forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I have um charms and things too with fruits and everything. So let's see, and I want to add some paper to this to make it like a little booklet. And I want some type of ruffles too. Or something on the edge, but not here because I have a paper clip. So you got to remember that because, <clears throat> excuse me, you won't be able to add a ruffle if there's a paper clip there. So maybe have that. Maybe something. Nope, I've got a paper clip there. Else. How about here? Yeah, I'll add something here. Let me see what I have. Okay, and yes, I have some watermelon fabric. There's watermelons here because when I got these little samples, 
at a thrift store. They were like little squares, and they had different treats and things. Um, so I think I'll ruffle it up, going this way. And then I have this little piece here, too, and I think this would make a nice little topper if I cut and tore this. This has a lot of the pretty colors. And I may add it like I want to see the coals here, so I might just add it kind of wonkily like that. So I'm not crossed. Okay, my sewing machine's a little wonky, but I kind of like that. Just kind of gives it a fun look. So we got that tag. And then, let's see. Yeah, I want to put the ruffle. Here, or here, or here. I think I want it like that. Okay. I like the different lengths here. You know, I had this too with the rooster. I think that's cute. I think that'd be too much right here, but... Do I have something? I don't have something with a rooster. Don't have anything here, but don't want to add too much there. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, maybe I'll do something else. I uh, need to figure out what I'm going to do with this you know the paper because I pieced it together and I tore out an ideals magazine that would kind of fit here I left and then I glued this peach canning on the back of it and then I'm going to leave this open glue that and then I also have this vintage a little vintage uh, cookbook it has apples and fruits, so I want to put that in here. I might have to trim that down a little bit so that that will go in here. Okay, so then with this piece. I want to glue this. I might have to trim it just a little bit if that sticks out too far. Okay, so then if I glue it there, summer country style, I like the apples. I'm going to have to tear this. This is from a Mary Englebright book. It has these little apples, cherries, whatever they are. So then I still have something to attach this to. I kind of wanted the apples to show. So I think I'm going to do this. These apples I wanted to show, and you'll see a little bit of that, but okay, so I'm going to glue 
this onto here. Like so. <clears throat> it's a little walky, that's okay. So then you've got that, and then summer country style, and then you got some apples here. And then I could, you know, stamp or put something on the side here. Okay. Different kinds of fruits and limes and lemons or something. Okay, let's see. I think I want to trim a tiny bit. Up here. Oh shoot, what did I do? Cut it off? No, nope. okay, it's good. Then maybe a little bit off this side. So that will fit in there better. And there's the apples, fruit, and that will go in there. I like it. And then, like I said, I'll put something here. So I believe that's all I will do for now. Did I show this? I think so. Okay, and then... Um, what else? Maybe that's it for now. And then next I'll do like stamping and things. I think I'll just do the flip, flip through next. Um, and then, oops, someone's going to do this. Use that. Okay, what did I just do? Yeah, this. Okay, see how cute that is? There. I'm going to add that right there. Just because it brings in that green. With the polka dots. Adorable. Okay. Okay, so I just got a little bit more to do. I have to figure out more, maybe a few little ruffles. Um, I may add a few charms here, possibly, or something. Might add a few things here and there at the top. And in a way to attach this. And um, next time, I'll do the flip through. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.